Yo, what's going on guys? Hopefully everybody's having a good day. It has been so long since I uploaded my first Titanfall Assault video back when the game wasn't even officially released yet. Respawn hooked me up with a beta copy to test out for you guys to give you an idea what the game is all about. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. If you haven't played this game, make sure you download it. It is free for everybody to play. In that first video, we just went through the tutorial just to see what the basics were like. And now that I've been playing for a few weeks, I'm excited to show you guys what I've done, what deck I've created created and hopefully we can share our strategies and just learn as we go now in the future i have plans to do guides and stuff like that and how to just be a better player but for now we're just going to share my experience see what you guys think about it and we'll go from there i don't know if you guys are actually going to enjoy these sort of videos when it comes to this game so this is more of like a a test run if you will so if you do enjoy this make sure you drop some love for me i would love to know what you think about this game in the comments i'm enjoying it a lot so far one of the best parts about coming back to this game when you haven't played it for a few hours or even a day or two is you get these login rewards. So you never really feel like you're missing out that much even if you're not playing the game because you're always given something when you come back. It's always nice to see. I just had like three login rewards just stacked up there which you just saw me open. So it's always a good feeling just to get these extra cards which in the long run help you level up depending on if you actually use those cards in your deck. Now this seems like the perfect time that I started this series because we're currently in the middle of the trophy event which ends in one day and 20 hours it looks like we need 250 trophies to get all three tiers that's what i'm assuming so basically when you win a match in titanfall so a loser match you either gain or lose trophies which in other words are your rank points we need 250 so i guess that'll be the goal over these next few days to try and get as many trophies as possible right now the tier one reward is 16 rares and one epic with a total of 160 cards and 960 credits so the credits are definitely nice and i definitely need as much as possible to level up my cards but what i really want is those 160 cards that's going to help me level up really really fast so that's the goal right now boys that's we'll see what we can do we'll see how far we can get hopefully we win more matches than we lose i definitely want to level up because these past few days i have gone up against some really high level players compared to me at least who are just demolishing me because they're like three or four levels ahead of me and i just lose every single fight on the frontier so hopefully we can get these cards and level up asap so let me show you guys what I've been up to recently. I've been playing for a little bit, of course. I have 37 wins. I also have a bunch of losses, but fortunately for me, they're not actually counted in the stats. I've only won three games by destroying the turret. I always just go for the 100 points. I never actually go for the turrets, but here is my deck. I haven't really been using this for that long. I've been trying different things out every single day. Right now, we're rocking with the Hollow Grenadier. Deploys a hollow decoy to cause a distraction while bombarding the enemy with grenades. I don't really know if I like this card or not. I haven't been paying too much attention to it, but I'm just trying it out. Let me know what you guys think about that one if you have it. Next up is the gunner. Attack rate increases the longer the attack is pressed against a particular enemy. This card absolutely wrecks. It does so much damage. Then we get to the boomer. This card holds a special place in my heart because it was my first legendary. I got him like four days ago, and because it's a legendary, I'm thinking like he's gonna send me to the top of the ranks. I'm gonna destroy every Everybody, and it's not really the case. I mean, he's good, but he's not amazing. So his shield absorbs damage while simultaneously increasing his own damage. I always send this card out in the very beginning of a match. You're going to see that in these videos. I don't know if I'm ever going to change my strategy up, but for now, that's what I do. I always bring Boomer to B, and like 80% of the time, he wins the fight there and captures the point for me. The next card is something I've been using since day one, the Blast Spectres. I love these guys. They're a common card, so a lot of you should have them or know what they are. They only cost two points to bring out, and they help me so, so much. Even though they do die soon after they're deployed, and they're just like Kamikaze Spectres, they do a lot of explosive damage. 307 at the moment for level 5, which is pretty damn good. Let me see. Next up, okay, so the Mines. I actually got this card two or three days ago, and so far, so good. It's treating me nicely. They kind of remind me of the Blast Spectres, even though they're not actual units that walk around and stuff, just because it does a lot of AoE damage. 395 at this point in time until I level it up some more. Right now, it's level 6. I like them because as soon as I capture something, even if there's no enemies there, I can place the Mine there, and it'll just sit there until it's detonated. So the enemy knows as soon as he puts his Grunts or whatever on point C, he's going to have that Mine to deal with. It's just a nice secondary defense to have next up we have the shield grunts they're one of my first epic cards i don't really know if i like them that much i might swap them out of my deck they're only three points which is not bad but they don't do a lot of damage right they do have those shields though so they're kind of like little mini tanks and then we have the arc sentry when i first started playing this game i thought sentry turrets were going to be really bad and then a bunch of you on twitter told me to use them and i'm so glad you did because this arc sentry does some work it really really does a lot of damage to titans so this is my baby the nuke atlas it doesn't do that much damage but when it dies it nukes obviously 
obviously, and it has saved me so many times. If there's 10 enemies around you, those 10 enemies are dead. The nuke Atlas is great. And then we have Core Scorch, the legendary Titan who is beautiful. He does so much damage. He doesn't have that much speed or range compared to Ion, which is next, but he is a force to be reckoned with. He is a powerhouse. And of course, we finish off with Core Ion, another legendary Titan, level 8. So when you first start playing this game, you get a reward for 7 days. And Ion was the reward on the 7th day, and I was so happy to get her. A lot of people tell me that she's really strong, and so far, so good. I love when she uses her actual laser core on enemies. It's devastating. So there you have it. That is my deck, at least for now. If you have any suggestions for things I could swap out, or just any suggestions for improvement, please let me know. Obviously, I'm not the best. I lose a lot of matches, so I'm always trying to grow. Hopefully, we can do that together. So far, we have Training Grounds and Crash Light Unlocked, with Angel City coming next at level 8, which I'm actually very close to. Maybe I can get that by tomorrow or the next day. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your deck is. What is working for you? Right now, we are ranked 12, 17. We need 1,400 to get to Silver 1. Now, I noticed that if I get to Silver 3, I get to unlock Ronin, which I'm very excited for. That is the goal. That is the future goal. Now, obviously, I have no idea if Ronin is actually good in this game. So if you guys that are high level have Ronin. Let me know how he plays in this game. There's also an Arc Ronin, which seems pretty cool. I wish I had the Arc effect in Titanfall 2, but it says he's designed to win 1v1 combat, so either way, I'm excited to get him and just unlock him and try him out, see how fast he is. 7.5 speed for the Arc Ronin, which seems a lot faster than all the other Titans, but either way, it's going to take us a while to actually unlock that. We'll make another video on Ronin in the future. So for now, you guys have seen my deck. You've seen what cards I'm rocking with. Let me know what you have. Tell me what works for you. I would love to get better at this game as these videos progress or the series progresses. So let's actually play a game. Let's put this deck to good use and see what we can do. Now that I think of it, this is my first match on YouTube against a real player because the first video I put out a few weeks ago was just a tutorial. Wouldn't it be awesome if I played against like Butterbar or something or Jaredude my first match? That would have been a great coincidence. The only thing about this game is we can't 1v1 each other unless we're in the same guild. I hope they change that and add more social aspects. Alright, so we're going to drop my Boomer on B. I put the Gunner on A and now I just want to look at the enemy and see what he's doing. He put most of his enemies on C right now. It looks like he put two cards on C. We already got B. I'm just going to stack everything on B. It looks like the entire fight is going to be right here in this C corner. That's the only thing about Crash Site. Like, you can't see the entire map. You have to keep looking behind you. So I just want to make sure every now and then I go back to A and I make sure he's not trying to flank me. We're winning this fight. Yeah, he's going down. I'm getting my Titan in like 30 seconds. Here's what we'll do. We're about to get our turret. So I'm going to place that on B just so it's there waiting. In case he decides to throw something on B, my turret will be there to destroy anything he throws down. Yeah, it'll be ready. He keeps going to C, though. I think his best option right now is to put something on A or B. Instead of continuously putting cards on C where my enemies... I mean, where my teammates already were. I'm not sure if that's actually a smart idea, but I feel like if you see a bunch of enemies on one point and you only have one card to throw down, I think it's a bad idea to throw that one card to fight six other enemies. You know what I mean? Place it where there's no enemies to contest you. From the looks of it, it looks like he has very high energy cards so it's taking him a while to throw down each one and now i'm just countering every single thing that he throws down i have my titan out already it's a nuke atlas so once that goes down it's going to do some extra damage oh he has a titan down on b we got a real fight going on here boys so even if i lose this fight the nuke should destroy that strider that strider's doing a lot of damage to me actually okay here we go let's see how much damage this does oh no he's getting away i don't know if i'm gonna hit it Oh, you see? It did half the damage of that Strider. Now he's doomed. I'm not even worried about it because my turret back at base is going to destroy it. Look, look. Yeah, he's about to die in one shot. That nuke does so much damage, dude. I thought the, the Strider was going to get away from it. They took B for a second, but we're taking it back now. All right, so he just dropped another... Is that a, an Ogre Titan he just dropped? We got our Titan, boys. It's time to bring out the legendary Scorch. Go get him. I just realized I'm so close to getting another Titan. I was about to drop those Shielded Grunts, but there's no point. I'm just going to drop Ion as well. We're going to finish off this fight right now, right here on B. I mean, I don't even think Scorch needs the help, to be honest. He's wrecking everything. But Ion's got his back. He's not going to have time, or she's not going to have time to use her laser core. Unfortunately, this game's almost done. Honestly, I think he had a chance to get some points and make some sort of a comeback, maybe, on B, if I didn't have a Nuke Titan there. But that Nuke Atlas just wrecked that Strider. I'm telling you, man, that Nuke Atlas saves me so many times. It does a lot of damage. 
We got 34 trophies, 8 credits, and 100 XP. Let me see what his cards look like. I always like to see what other people have. I haven't seen two or three of these cards. What is this? Sentry Tech Legendary card. Upon arrival as Rally Point, he immediately deploys a sentry to secure the area. I've never heard of this card. How do you get this? That actually seems pretty good. I wasn't really paying attention to everything he was throwing down besides his Titan, so I'm not sure when he threw down that sentry tech. He also has Rocket Sentry Epic. Rocket Sentries take a while to build and decay over time, but have extreme range and are able to shoot over terrain. I've never seen that either. I think I have like 35, 36 cards out of the 55 in this game, so I guess I do have a lot to learn. Mortar Ogre, reconfigured to specialize in long distance sieging. This Titan uses its considerable firepower to demolish structures. That seems pretty dope. It costs 5 points to bring out though. I wonder if that ogre, Mortar Ogre can actually attack other Titans or just other structures. Either way, that was a pretty good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love you guys. Make sure you drop a like for me. I'll see you next time. Peace.